In this recording, the following clinical skill will be demonstrated. Equipment for this drug administration has been pre-prepared using aseptic non-touch technique. Before administering a medication, remember the 10 rights of medication management. Introduce yourself to the patient, explain and discuss the procedure with them and gain their consent. Ask the patient if they would like a chaperone to be present during the procedure and check if the patient has any allergies. Follow the 10 rights of medication management to reduce the risk of medication errors. Carry out hand hygiene. Risk assess for the necessity of wearing personal protective equipment. Maintain the patient's dignity and respect by closing the curtains for the procedure. Ask the patient to lie on their side with their knees gently bent to relax the gluteal muscles. Identify the following key landmarks. The iliac crest, the anterior superior iliac spine, the ischial tuberosity, the ischial spine. Mentally draw a cross over the buttock to divide it into four quadrants. The upper outer quadrant is the safe zone for intramuscular injection. The injection should be administered at the centre of this quadrant. Gently palpate the area to ensure adequate muscle mass and avoid bony prominences or blood vessels. Hold the syringe in your dominant hand. Use the Z-Track technique. Insert the needle at a 90 degree angle with a dart-like motion. Gently pull back on the plunger to check for blood return. This helps confirm that the needle is not in a blood vessel. If blood appears in the syringe, immediately withdraw the needle and discard it safely. Prepare a new syringe and repeat the procedure at a different site. Inject slowly 1 ml per 10 seconds. Wait 10 seconds before withdrawing the needle to allow drug dispersion. Let the skin return to normal to seal the drug in the muscle. Apply pressure to the site with dry gauze. Dispose of sharps directly into the sharps bin according to local policy. Carry out hand hygiene. Monitor the patient for any effects of the prescribed medicine and any problems with the injection site.